October the 28th, 1915, the day had just begun and the children of St. John's Patriarchal School in Peabody, Massachusetts were just getting ready to start class when the Sister Superior discovered a fire in the basement of the three-storey building. The schoolhouse had two stairways, one on the first floor and one with basement entrances located under the stairways. One of the sisters opened up the front door and the rear exits on the first floor whilst the other one ran to the second floor of the building to sound the alarm and let everyone know that they had to leave the building immediately. There were no fire escapes as they weren't compulsory at the time. There was over 600 students in the building when the nun first discovered the fire. The students on the second and third floor began making their way down the stairways. The children were unpanicked at first until they started to see the smoke. The smoke came quick and heavy, which made the children panic, and instead of making their way to the rear exit, the children ran towards the front door. As more and more children ran towards the door, this led to a jam. They became jammed in the corridor, which at this point, the fire had broken into. With all the children still inside, the fire rapidly swept through the three-storey brick and wooden building, fully engulfing it in less than five minutes. With the door being blocked, many children used their initiative and escaped through the first floor windows. Some of them even jumped from the second and third storey to escape the small room building. But not all were so lucky. In total, 21 children did not make it out of the fire. The bodies of the 21 victims were found after the fire subsided, huddled together and burned beyond recognition on the inside of the school entrance. The sisters were praised for their bravery in aiding the children trying to escape, which saved many lives. None of the sisters were killed, but one suffered serious burns. In the aftermath, many did not want to remember the fire, and photographers who responded to the site had their cameras confiscated by law enforcement. As a result of the fire, Peabody became the first city to pass a law that said all doors in public buildings and schools must push outwards. The last survivor of the fire died in 2008 at the age of 98.